guys, it's Lindsay. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh, this lip color though is so pretty. This is the Estee Lauder um, Pinkberry Cream Lip Stick. It looks a lot darker like on me. Well, like right now it looks a lot darker, but like on my lips it looks so gorgeous. Oh, I'm obsessed with this so much but back to the actual video let me see if i can get the picture uh, i have to go through my camera girl give me a minute okay this is the picture that i referenced oh my gosh dude her makeup is flawless huh she's always flawless i don't know why but like she's like literally my queen oh she's like beautiful gorgeous stunning Okay, so that is what today's video is. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys at the end. So um, why not hop right into this makeup look? So for this look, um, I'm going to be starting off with the eyes today, and I'm going to go with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in original. I'm going to be applying this all on my eyeballs because we need to make sure this shadow stays on as long as possible. Now I'm going to just be blending that out with my, what finger is this? I don't know, uh, my ring finger. After I am primed, I'm going in with this Clinique. This is new, um, not new for the brand, but like new for me. Recently just picked this up. This is the All About Shadow Duo, and this is the fi number five on Safari. One in the whole packaging is like mirrors, so I don't want to like blind y'all. But like, I'm using both of their shits today. I don't know if y'all can even see that. I'm going to go in with this All of You one first in my crease a little bit, not too much. But I'm just going to go with that just a teeny bit and these are very highly pigmented though oh my gosh and my nose is running i'm so sorry guys i'm like dying while i'm filming this but it's gonna be a crease color nice olivey green color in our crease i'm actually going to be doing this entire eye off camera after i finish this one um but now i'm going to go in with the other shade from this little duo um it's this lighter shade here it's really nice kind of almost yellowy banana shimmery shadow and i'm applying this to my lid I'm just using a standard flat shader brush the eye look that's all literally that's literally all that we're doing to the eyes and now i'm going to go in with liner i believe yes liner i'm using my clinique quick liner for eyes and this is the black eyeliner charcoal i'm going to be lining my eyes we're not going to do a wing nothing really special just a standard line and all my makeup just like toppled over on my desk but like you know it's all good but we're going to line our eyes now We're done with our liner, and for mascara, I'm going to be going in with a newer mascara that I recently picked up at Nordstrom, and this is the Estee Lauder Light Little Black Primer. This isn't even a primer mascara, to be honest. This is just a standard black mascara. This is the sample size, um, but we're going to be putting this on our top and bottom lashes, and my, this is my first time testing it out, so we're going to see how it goes. for more of a very light glow like very light coat of mascara but I am going to be also obviously darkening that up with my Rider Die Clinique mascara after I apply this to my top and bottom lashes so I have to go in with another mascara let me go grab it from my drawer behind me 
the mascara for our top lashes completed. Give me a moment to do the bottom lashes. There we have it, the eye look is completed. And I'm going to go off camera and finish this eye up and we'll be right back to start on the face. Now, moving on to the face, since I finished the eye look, I'm going to be using my NYX Pore Filler Primer to prime my face to make sure that our foundation stays all day long because that's what exactly what we want to do. I'm taking this on my hand and I'm just lightly putting this on my face. Now that we are primed, I'm going to be moving on with foundation. I'm using my Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation and I'm using to blend that with my Well Techniques Beauty Sponge. So I'm just going to be applying this on my face. Now we have our foundation on, I'm going to be taking two concealers today. Um, the first concealer I'm going to be using under my eyes, and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, the Rx Dark Circles one. This is the lightest shade, I believe. This is in the shade Fair. I'm pretty positive this is the lightest shade. Because I'm using this to highlight today, because we are using a highlighter. But, we're going to be brightening up our under eyes to make them look very highlighted. But anywhere else um, that I have blemishes or anything, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So... I'm gonna take this and put this under my eyeballs. I'm going to blend that all out. When you, are, when you are done, because like, you look like this. But I'm going to go in with the other concealer, um, which is the Fit Me Concealer and in the shade 10, which is also the lightest shade, but it's not as light as this one. I'm applying this on any blemishes that I see. And I may also put this on my eyes just a little bit just to make it not as white. Now we're going to blend that all out again. Okay, now that we have all of that, we're going to be setting our face. I'm using, for my under eyes, my CoverGirl True Blend powder, and I'm going to be baking. So I'm actually going to take one of my brushes because I'm actually going to crush this powder up and use my Beauty Blender to apply it in my eyes, but actually that's not what's going to happen. I'm just going to crush it up because it has been hit pan already, um, but I'm just going to take a regular brush and apply this to my under eyes. The brush I'm using is just this Clinique face brush. a regular powder. I'm using my Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder in the shade 20 or Classic Ivory and for the brush I'm using my Real Techniques Bold Matters Collection brush in 103. And I'm going to be setting the rest of my face. We have that all finished and now we're going to contour. That is all we have left to do besides the lip color obviously. But I'm using a Benefits Hula Bronzer because it's dabomb.com. Now we have our contour all finished. And all we need now is the lip color. So I was debating on what lip color to do, so I decided to finally use this. Oh, it is gorgeous. This is the Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Pinkberry Cream, and it is so gorgeous. It is a little bit darker than the lip color that Kylie has on in the picture, but this is pretty close, but I did want to go for a more of a musty rose type of mauve color, so I'm going to be putting this on my lips. This tutorial 
now I'm going to go finish my hair and everything and I'll be right back. But before I forget, I totally forgot about blush. Oh my gosh. I knew I was missing something. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm using this really nice, what do you call it? I don't know what color to call this, but it's really nice dusty mauve pink. I don't know how to describe it. It's this top one here. It is so pretty. So I'm using my Real Techniques 300 brush and dipping that in. I also pigmented. Now we watch fly away. I'm using the light swirls with this because it's very pigmented. And we don't want it to look like really heavy. So there, now we have the final look. Um, now, let's do the outro. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. The button is down there, you guys can go click that. And if you guys have not seen any of my other Kardashian makeup tutorials, you guys should go check them out. I have an entire playlist below. Um, like. It'll be at the top of the description, but y'all can go check out that playlist, and I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys in my next video, and yes, I am currently sick during while I'm filming this. I don't think I said that in the intro, but like, I'm like sick, but I pushed through, but I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Wow.